This game is T and is not suitable for kids. As always, he's inside. You ran away today, didn't you? Alright, it's the 19th. Let's see. Um, we're gonna have him stop it already. He should stop bothering Tomio. Oh, hey, it's Botan. <laughs> we totally walked him home. We're going to the old school building. We're gonna go to the library. Oh, but it didn't matter, apparently. Oh, wow. This is a new scene. It's raining as I go to the shopping arcade. Sunahara can beat some underclassmen who can buy cutlet sandwiches for her. Don't worry. Ah. <laughs> That's true, but Sunahara wouldn't do that unless there was something in it for him. She has amazing parents. I really like her mom. Her dad is super funny and weird, but, like, he's also kind of crazy. Gray clouds cover the sky. The humid air darkens the store windows and the trees lining the streets. I should have brought an umbrella. I noticed the rain when I set out, but I keep going anyways, because I didn't feel like going back. Just as I'm about to go into a store to avoid getting wet, something happens. Huh? I see a familiar face walking down the opposite side of the street. It's the mistress of the library, Kotomi Ichinos. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. This might be the first time I've seen her outside of school. <laughs> News for you, like, almost everyone here is a weirdo. Tomo Tomoyo is normal. So is Ryo. Everyone else is pretty bonkers, though. Not noticing me, she enters the bookstore alone. We're gonna follow her. We're not. We're gonna be creepy. I decide to follow her. <laughs> oh wow! I think the bookstore needs to actually paint everything a different color than just pure white. <laughs> the automatic door opens, and I hear soothing music playing. Tomoyo's normal beats gains for fun. No. She used to do that. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been to the bookstore. I have time to kill anyway. Something about her is bugging me. I hope she isn't planning what I think she is. I glance around the partially crowded store. There she is. She's standing in front of a shelf full of complex books. She starts reading one. As usual, her reading speed is insane. Suddenly, her fingers start turning the, stop turning the pages. She's lost in thought. Then she takes out a pair of scissors. Just as I thought. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, whoa! That's a new CG. That's a nice one. She looks cute. Also, she looks kind of deadly with those scissors. Hey, stop it! There's no time to waste. I grab her shoulder and swing her back around to face me. She looks at my face. No, she doesn't see me. It takes some time to return from her book world, it seems. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> bad end. <laughs> CG in the middle of a route. That's, that can only mean the bad ending. <gasps> she finally comes to her senses. <laughs> An ordinary greeting. She doesn't seem to understand the situation. Don't give me that good afternoon! She looks at the clock on the wall. She tilts her head to the side. She seems unsure as she says, <laughs> No, 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 no. We're more worried about you going to kill somebody with those. Or destroying property. It's not that late yet. Actually, that isn't the problem here. What's that you're holding? There are so many bad ends there. <laughs> In uh, Fate Stay Night. I point at the scissors and I press for an answer. Wait, did I read that? Oh yeah, what's that you're holding? <laughs> she looks down and sees what she's holding in her right hand. Okay, yeah, she literally just can't understand social cues. I know that. I can tell by looking. I don't care about the English, French, or Italian words for it. What good is it to be able to say scissors in Latin? Nobody uses that language anymore. 
ちょっぴり得した気分になったり I won't! 将来ハサミ屋さんを経営するとき商談が有利に<笑> That won't happen ever Wait, could a scissor store even survive? <笑> Don't look at me with that sad face それじゃあどうすれば How should I know? Um, yeah, he actually is towards Tsunahara. Don't say stuff like that. People will get the wrong idea. Our pointless conversation continues. Wait, can you even call this a conversation? Maybe I'm just pointing out what's wrong with that, she's saying. It's like a part of my brain rarely used in everyday conversation is overheating and melting. <laughs> I try to get the original subject back on track. Just listen to me. I lower my voice and turn to face her. Cutting up library books is one thing. Doing it here is a crime. Can't you just take notes or take a picture or something? Those might not be the best suggestions, but I press on with my useless rat lecture. Snip, snip. Stop cutting! <laughs> making fun of Sunohara isn't bullying, it's making the world a better place. No, that is bullying. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> She says that while moving the scissors up and down. Why did you do that? Oh, okay. She's making clever puns. She is officially best girl. <laughs> She says that proudly. That was good. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> She doesn't get the reaction she's looking for and tilts her head to the side. How did they do that joke in Japanese? That's very. That's using wordplay in English. <laughs> I, I know, it was really clever. <laughs> She's the best! <laughs> She seems to be trying to explain, her best to explain. <sighs> I'm exhausted in more ways than one. She's supposed to be a top 10 national mock exam honor student. In other words, she's one of the elite who will shoulder the future of Japan. I don't know what to believe anymore. That's when I notice a nearby customer peevishly glancing at us. Put those scissors away right now! Nod. She nods obediently and does as I say. Do you always talk to people like that? <laughs> that yeah, that joke is totally different in Japanese. I figure that it would have to be, because clearly she's making a pun based on wordplay, which doesn't translate. <laughs> <laughs> the translators were sweating when they saw it. Well, they did an A plus job. <laughs> This is going nowhere. I had a feeling that was the case. Now that I've interacted with her a few times, I realize something. Her weird conversation methods are partly to blame for her lack of experience with talking to others. <sighs> It's not because she's book smart or because she receives special treatment. I get the feeling she's the type who won't open up to others unless they spend a long time with her. So why did she act that way toward me from the beginning? I'm also a stranger to you. She looks at me confused. You're not answering my question. She's really surprised. I don't get what's going on anymore. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that should be just be Tomia's catchphrase. This is rare. She's not backing down. It's okay. I'm me. I agree without knowing what I'm talking about. Shouldn't I play in 4 free aspect resolution? This game was not made with widescreen in mind. Um, I'm playing it in the normal default. I just have to stretch it for the stream. <laughs> Literally, if so, basically, my options are I could have the stream showing it the way I'm seeing it, but then there would be these horrendously ugly black borders on the side. <laughs> and besides, at this point, I'm, I've done it for so long, we're keeping it consistent. She says that while peeking at my face. She's smiling so happily that I don't know how to react. There's something about her that makes her difficult. Anyway, I'm changing the subject. I say that, but I doubt we have anything in common to discuss. I look around. 
This section is for technical books on science and physics. It's much less popular than the magazine and comics sections. I've been to this bookstore before, but I didn't even know this section existed. Are these types of books all you read? Mm -hmm. Aw, yeah! <laughs> She's buying the latest, uh, Rachel Ray cookbook. Is that so? I didn't expect her to be looking for a cookbook. It's good to know that studying isn't her only interest. But weird part, if you look at her now, it looks fine. But if you flip it, then it's bad. I don't I don't know what you're talking about. It looks normal to me. <laughs> Where were you before this store? The school? And before that? And before that? She's just hitting all of the Barnes and Nobles. And before that? Okay, I get it. I stop her before I get sucked into an infinite loop. <laughs> Were you making your rounds to all the bookstores in town? Mm. She confirms it as if it were nothing. When did you start going around to each bookstore? You've been at it that long? She nods. <laughs> this is the last borders that never actually closed. <laughs> she talks about it like a child, talking about a cake they'll have for a snack. There aren't that many bookstores in town. This must pass as a luxury for her. You're going home? <laughs> You're sounding like someone in, like, a fantasy novel. <laughs> the Other Shelves, the Forbidden Library. Well, now. In the end, I decide to tag along with her. She knows what she's looking for and goes to each shelf briskly. And here I am, following closely behind. <laughs> this is your payday. Well, yeah. If it were up to her, she'd buy the whole bookstore. Aww. Oh, good for you. In the end, she picks about ten books. There are novels, technical books, and even magazines. And the complete series of Dilbert. The book she spends the most time choosing is How to Make Great Boxed Lunches. One of the many similarly thin picture books, she's determined to find the right one, or out of the many. She seems happiest while selecting it. I remember my promise. We're going to eat lunch together starting Monday. Are you...? Well, whatever. My hunch is probably right. Her confused look feels a bit embarrassing. About an hour has passed by the time she's done paying for her books. Ah, spilled my drink a little. That sucks. As the automatic doors open, I hear raindrops pattering on the pavement. It's coming down hard now. The clear drops fall from the darkened sky. Everyone out, everyone out and about is using an umbrella. Every school needs a Hermione. <laughs> it's kind of true. Do you have your umbrella? Hmm? Oh, her hair looks blue in here. She has a confused look. Looking again, her bag is filled to the brim with the books she purchased. It seems she's more worried about the books than herself. Once she finishes stuffing the books in her bag, she takes an umbrella from a side pocket. I look at her belongings again. Her bag is not only stuffed with the books I just saw, but also bags from other bookstores. It might be too much for her to carry while holding an umbrella. I don't have an umbrella, but I don't mind if I get wet. What should I do? Oh, we're going to offer to walk her home, though. Obviously. You always choose the option where you can spend more time with her. I will make the save, though. I think it's been a while since I've saved. Uh, what are you going to do now? If it's close, I'll see that you get there.
I didn't say I'd send you home by mail. What? I I'm not sending the books, I'm sending you. <laughs> Do you know this from ex personal experience, Kotomi? So it's okay to send something dead? <laughs> wow! <laughs> this just got morbid. Okay, in that case, what would you put in the description? Someone please call the police! I meant that I'd walk you back to your house. I point at myself and then at her, trying to explain each part of my sentence. I won't be using the postal service or cutting you up. I mean that I'll accompany you back home. And since I don't have an umbrella, we'll have to share yours. I feel like I'm saying something really embarrassing, but I don't care anymore. Is your house close enough that I can walk you back? Uh. <laughs> well, if you can walk ten miles, then yeah. She finally understands. Her face turns bright red as if it's on fire. The gap between her girlish re reaction and the surreal conversation makes me dizzy. She starts off cheerfully, but then cuts off suddenly. She indirectly turns me down. Oh. Wait, you're going to the library now? You bought so many books and it's still not enough? She nods. She can read all those in an hour. Do you eat books to stay alive? <laughs> you were the one who was indicating you eat paper when we first met. That's why I thought you were really weird. <laughs> well, I mean, she is really weird, but... She cautiously throws the question back at me. Okay, never mind. Looks like my joke was too complicated. Well, nothing, nothing ruins a joke better than explaining it. I mean, it's like you love books so much that you can't live without them, almost like they're food. I feel so stupid trying to explain I could die. Sorry, please forget it. But she continues trying to analyze it. Try looking more interested when you say that. I let out a sigh. But this doesn't feel half bad. Maybe I'm just used to it. The rain doesn't seem to be letting up. People on the road all by all pass by in silence. Raindrops keep falling on my head, and they're falling from the eaves and they're dripping into her hair. Aren't those books heavy? Do you really have to go to the library today? That's important. Don't want to get hit with those hefty late fees. She cuts up pages without hesitation, but she diligently follows due dates. I don't get her. Then again, that weirdness is just like her. Oh. See ya. Be careful. Mm. She looks up at me with a worried look, but it soon turns into a soft smile. And stop taking out your scissors in the bookstore. You're lucky it was me who found you. If someone else had seen you, who knows what they'd do. Mm. That's bad in its own way, but I let it slide. Oh, what? Her face is tinged with sadness. But soon enough she's smiling again. Tomorrow is Sunday, so we won't see each other. I guess she has to say it. See you. She waves and then opens her umbrella with unsteady hands. She steps into the rainy darkness. Swallowed by the sea of umbrellas, I soon lose sight of her. She's used to going home alone. That's what it feels like. You love how it's just the rain without music. Eh, it's, it's atmospheric. Very calming. With shoulders hunched, I walk off. The rain kept falling through the night. Oh, did we not go- we did not go to Sunohara's room this night. The Illusionary World Free. Yeah, we've seen like eight of these at this point. Okay. 
backstory for this. It's Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sun shines gently on my face now, then what should I do? I should go to Sunohara's room. In the end, I always end up doing the same things. When I see the dorm, I stop in my tracks. It's my day off. This is just uninspiring. Then, how about going to school instead? If I sneak onto campus, I can kill some time in an empty classroom. Your life is sad, man. Not exactly different from any other day, really. Thinking of that plan, I laugh <laughs> wryly at myself. I start climbing the deserted hill. Is he actually... Why would you go to school on Sunday? Just to nap! You could nap anywhere! The school is not as quiet as I expected. The people in the clubs are even at school on a Sunday. The wind instruments of the brass band are practicing the same part over and over again. Wait, they do? Clubs go to school on Sunday? What? This is why, this is what you meant when you said that this route feels lonely. Yeah. I hear the shoe lockers opening and closing. Ten bucks says that Kotomi is going to be in the library. I step into the hallway. There's a certain stillness that's different from when class is in session. The only ones in the building are people actively participating in culture clubs. I doubt I'll see anyone I know. Knew it. I see someone I know carrying her bag. Are you dirt poor and live here in school? She tilts her head to the side. She must be thinking of something. Stop it right there. It's too stupid of a joke to let her finish. Wait, what? I don't get it. What was she, what? I don't know what just happened there. She looks at me dissatisfied. Oh, that would have been a good pun. Oh, that, that would have been a good one. Oh. It's not advanced at all. It, it, it was advanced for this Twitch chat and me. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's very, 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 very low level. <laughs> yes. I already said I'm not. The conversation hasn't even lasted a minute, and I'm already playing into her hand. Oh, I don't like the sad look on her face. <laughs> what kind of a hand is it? Beats the hell out of me. Anyway, let's get back on subject. Do you know that today is a Sunday? Are you in a club? Don't you think it's a problem for someone like you to be out of school right now? Look who's talking! <laughs> she thinks about it. Her eyes lit up when she said that. Yeah, that's true. She then points at me and says, Oh, sorry. Hey, I mean you! She looks really surprised. She looks questioning me first at her clothes, then at my clothes. She asks me with a disheartened look in her eyes. Diver did I. <sighs> Seeing her panic, all I can do is sigh. If this was Sunohara, Tomio would absolutely be like, Yep, new uniform, you gotta start wearing this. First fiends first. We haven't changed uniforms, so you can relax. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Since it's Sunday, no one will say anything even though I'm not in uniform. She willingly agrees. Let me guess, you're going to the library, right? She answers and she starts walking down the hall. In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. I walk beside her. Her heavy-looking bag is obviously filled with books. I'll carry it for you. Hmm? I mean that I'll carry your bag to the library for you. Oh. She probably hey, likes God. carrying them. Hand it over. She hesitates for a moment, but passes the bag to me. I feel its weight pull down my arm. How many books do you have in here? 
She says that as if it's nothing. We walk side by side down the quiet hallway. As the library door comes into view, I realize something very important. Maybe the library isn't open on Sundays. Even if it's poorly managed on weekdays, it must be different on weekends. The managing teacher must have locked it up. <laughs> it's not going to stop her. She's an expert lockpick. How are you going to get in? She takes something from her skirt pocket. I take it and see that it's a key. Attached by a string, a plastic label reads the library main entrance. Oh, wow! <laughs> they do give her special treatment. It's obviously an official school key and not specially made just for Kotomi-chan. I turn the plastic label over. Kotomi is written on the back in a black oil-based marker. You wrote this yourself. I want to pretend I haven't seen this. Is she copying the keys? <laughs> I'd better ask now, or I'll definitely regret it later. How did you get this? Oh, really? Oh, she is the honorary library assistant. I joked about that in a previous episode. Are you sure you weren't very, very annoying and the librarian just got tired of dealing with you? Don't be mean. In any case, I'm glad to know that she didn't obtain it through illegal means. I thought she was going to have done it at least through illegal means. <laughs> <laughs> Let's unlock the door. Listening to her would take all day, so I decide to go inside. While looking for the keyhole, I notice that there is a gap between the door and the wall. I place my hand on the door and slide it open easily. I look at her. She's pretty incompetent at her job. It's not a matter of whether you like to or not. Looking back, I was able to come in and out of the library because of her. You were probably only thinking about your books. Step, step, step. She sidles past me and goes inside. And she's not listening. I'm used to this by now and I just follow in behind her. <laughs> 